Whiteboard's messy, but we're gonna ignore that. Stay in character. Okay. This is incredibly important. For you to be able to stay in character, because I'm gonna tell you that nothing good comes from being out of character, nothing. Can you tell me one time where you were doing something you shouldn't have been doing and something good happened from that? I don't think you can. I really truly don't think that you can tell me something good that happened when you were acting a way you shouldn't have been acting. Because when I was younger, I was always doing things I shouldn't have been doing. Doing bad things. And what would happen when I was doing bad things is I would see nothing good. Staying out of character, being a character you're not supposed to be, almost kind of putting on a mask for say, you know, kind of being Harvey Dent, you're almost like a two-face, you're this one guy when you go home and you're this different person when you go out and you're hanging around people. And what happens is when you're doing bad things and being almost like a two-face, nothing good happens. Nothing good comes from that. You're not gaining any benefit from it. But what, on the contrary, if you can stay in character, what happens is it's good. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I stopped hanging around the people I shouldn't have been hanging around with, when I was able to step into the character that I can become, you know, the charismatic, nice, charming, young gentleman coming from my mouth, that sounds ridiculous, uh, stepping into the character of the person I needed to become to recreate wealth, when I could step into that character, when I could stay in character, when I could become that character, all the good things happened. I started seeing more abundance. I started seeing better family life. I have a great relationship with my lovely girlfriend of six years. Things like that happen, but I can guarantee you if I had to decide in my life to do bad things and hang out with the wrong crowd and become somebody I wouldn't have or shouldn't have become, I wouldn't have had that relationship with my family or my girlfriend. In this case, maybe your boyfriend if you're a girl, but it's probably girlfriend for everybody or, or, or money in regards to, you know, maybe I could be spending it on drugs or doing it with it, whatever I wanted to. But when you're staying in character, good things come and people don't realize this because people want to hang out with the people they seem as cool. You know, when I was growing up in high school, I always wanted to hang out with the older kids. But truthfully and honestly, what happens is when you're in high school and you hang out with the older kids, not, they, they, they don't care. They really don't care. You think that these guys have your back, they want you to hang out with them, they want you to be cool, they want you to smoke, they want you to drink, and they have the best intent for you. These guys don't give a frig about you. They don't care about you, so why are you hanging out with them? Why are you hanging out with the group of people that doesn't care for you? Nobody's gonna care as much as you think about you as you do for yourself. It's all gonna have to come down to you is do you want to stay in character and have the good things that come with it? Because when you're hanging around older kids in high school or when you're hanging around people at the workplace who you think are cool, when you're hanging around family members that don't have the best for you, let me put it this way, would you still be friends with your family members if they weren't your family members or are you forced to be friends with them because they are your family members? Think about it that way. We all know that toxic family member we all have that we just can't stand but we're forced to be friends with them once a year because we're at a family reunion. No, no, no. If you don't need to be friends with them, don't be friends with them. Stay in character. Don't don't be bad. Don't do bad things because you want to appease somebody. You know, when you're younger and you're in high school and hanging out with older people, you want to do the things that they do. You know, I know tons of cases of people doing bad things because they were trying to be cool in somebody else's eyes. They were trying to do something another older person was doing, whether that may be smoking weed, smoking cigarettes, doing drugs, you know, you know, breaking into houses, throwing rocks at houses. I've seen it all. I've been around the block and I've seen it all. And nothing good comes from that. You know, you need to be able to stay in character and come to the realization that no, Nobody out there really cares for me. I gotta care for myself and I gotta kinda man up and step up and say, this is not acceptable. I need to be the real version of me and I need to do the real things. So one thing we need to understand is do not do stuff to seem cool. You cannot do stuff to seem cool. This will get you nowhere in life. If we could highlight one thing about staying in character, this is the main point right here. Do not do stuff to seem cool. Do not wear the certain things that you don't wanna wear to make somebody else look at you in a certain way. Do not talk a certain way because somebody else told you you should talk a certain way. It all stems from your idols. Everybody idolizes these rappers, but when's the last time I seen somebody idolize a businessman? Truthfully, I've never seen one kid in recent times, tell me that they idolize somebody who's a businessman. Now, whatever the businessman is, I don't know, but at least they could say, you know how neat that would be if someone said to me that I idolize this person, not this person? Like, you know what, good for you, dude. That's awesome to hear. Staying in character, being the person you should be becoming is not going is going to help you in the long run. You know, if you can stay in character and not shapeshift, because what I find a lot of people do is they shapeshift. Shapeshift. And while I do agree with some of it, 
you have to kind of be able to shape shift in and out of conversations and be a different person in some conversations regarding, you know, maybe I have to step it up and be a bit more of a business person in a business meeting than my at home life. Like I'm not the same person, but I am the same person. Some people shape shift and they become this completely different person. It's almost like this herd mentality. I know plenty of examples of kids who when they're not staying in character and they're acting out of character, what they do is they do bad things. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they start to act weird. They start to be different when they're hanging around the wrong people. Tons of examples. I'm sure I was one, but I know very well of people who were really nice to me face to face, but the second they got in a crowd of all their other friends, they were completely rude. It's like I didn't even know them. How many people can relate to that? That one boy that you had in school who was super cool to you in front of your face when it was just you and them, and then when they got in front of their other groups, it was a completely different person. They'd look at you like you were crazy. They'd say, why are you doing that? Yet, and you were just telling me that I could do that to my face when nobody was around you. You know, stop shape-shifting. Don't be a shape-shifter. Don't get out of character. Why are we getting out of character? Why are we crossing this middle line and not coming over to this side? What good is it for you to hang around people who don't care? What good is it for you to dress a certain way because somebody else told you to? You're literally falling into the best form of marketing you can. Why do you wear the jeans that you wear? I don't know. Why am I wearing a watch that I wear? I don't really know the answer myself. I do it because I like the watch and I like the craftsmanship, but maybe it's because I want to look good in somebody else's eyes. I'm not perfect myself. All I'm trying to do is make you aware of this certain thing about how staying in character really helps attribute to your success. And if you don't want to see success, you might as well not stay in character. You might as well continue to do the same lazy thing that you're doing, the same lousy thing that you're doing, and not see success because you're, you're helpless. If I can't get through this message through to you, then what's the point of me even talking? And I hope Hope it penetrates your heart because today marks the day that we change and we start to say no to this side. No, I'm not going to do the bad things. No, I'm not going to hang around the people that I want. No, I'm going to have, or no, I'm not going to hang around the people that I, uh, I shouldn't be hanging around with. No, I'm not going to be a shapeshifter. No, I'm not going to act differently. Yes, I'm going to stay in character. Yes, I'm going to be good. Yes, I'm going to stop doing things to make me look cool. And yes, I'm going to start stop hanging around with older bad influences. Because if you can say yes instead of no and stay in character and be the person you should be becoming, oh, hallelujah, praise the Lord. It'd be a beautiful day, wouldn't it? It'd be such a fantastic day for you to be able to stay in character, but most people won't. This message will go over a lot of people's heads. If you're this far into the video, comment down below and say you're making the change today or you've already made the change. Share a story, because I guarantee you, if you're this far into the video, you want to change, or maybe you have changed, and maybe I've convinced you in a certain way to change. And everybody else who is staying out of character has clicked off because it's triggered them in some way. Open up your hearts a bit. When's the last time you've actually taken in a message without judgment? Probably because you don't want to seem uncool in somebody else's eyes. Oh, I watch a certain video because I, 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 somebody else has watched it. When's the last time you formulated your own opinion? When's the last time you stood up for yourself and stopped standing down for yourself? Stop staying out of character and start to stay in the character. This has been a video lecture. I know there's not a credible amount of information, but it's information that you can use. I wanted to please everybody today and give you some good information and I've just been filled with this message of you need to stay in character because nothing good happens when you're not in character. When you're talking a certain way, when you're acting a certain way, when you're becoming a certain person, most some people aren't going to like it. But oh well, if it's the good version of you, oh well, screw them. They can go. They're snakes themselves. They just haven't realized that they had the mask on. Anyways, i got to stop rambling. Stay in character. Don't, don't go to the other side. You don't need it in your life.